we do achieve super intelligence and mm-hmm. whenever that is, what are the plans to integrate it into Meta's existing products? Yeah, I mean, I, I think when you have super intelligence, the nature of what a product is will change pretty fundamentally. Um, and if you think about our products today, a lot of the big ones, right? So if you look at Instagram or Facebook or our business model around ads, they're basically already these very large transformer systems, right? They're recommendation systems, not language models today. But they're basically already these big, um, massive scale machine learning systems. Um, I just think you'll have models that you'll interact with directly that, um, that, that it'll It'll recommend content. It'll generate content. You'll be able to talk to it, right? It's like just so. I, I think it's it's this stuff will all be much more integrated, mm-hmm. and, and then um, I think that that sort of culminates in the glasses vision, where I think what you're going to get is eventually this always-on experience that I mean you can control when it's on and off, but it can be always on if you want, where it can you can just let it see what you see, hear what you hear, can go off and think about the context of your conversations and come back with with more context or knowledge that it thinks you should have. When you need an app, it can just generate the UI from scratch for you um, in your vision. Um, I, I'm not sure how long it's going to take to get to that. I don't think this is like five years. I think it's going to be quicker. So um, two, three, it's hard to exactly know, but um, but I don't know. I, w- I would guess it's um, every time I think of what a milestone would be in AI, um, they all seem to get achieved sooner than we think. So I think like my optimism about AI has generally only increased as time has gone on um, in terms of both the timeline for achieving it and how awesome it's going to be.